Hi, this is Guy of 180 Nutrition and tonight I'm actually blogging about uh, the next stage of my CrossFit journey which is an experiment I've agreed to do over the next three months. Now the, the experiment is the protection against oxidative stress. So if you don't know what oxidative stress is, it's simply um, an excess of free radicals that then attack the body in which you know your, your cells, your protein, your DNA. Now uh, you probably hear the, the word free radicals and then we have a defense mechanism which is antioxidants. Now the antioxidants are then produced to combat that. Okay, so um, free radicals are produced from daily living uh, environment, the air we breathe, to uh, exercise is a big one, food, alcohol, lifestyle, and then and then of course the oxidative stress builds and if if we don't produce enough antioxidants to combat that, our body can actually break down over time. So where I'm looking at this is, is that I want to see um, if we can um, improve that through my exercise when I CrossFit. So I know a lot of um, people that put themselves under a great deal of stress just from exercising every day and you will produce uh, free radicals and then depending how quickly you eliminate that through good nutrition will improve your antioxidant and then that will naturally go on and improve your recovery. Now the other thing is as well is that I was actually a plumber for 10 years and during that time I handled a lot of heavy metals and I know for a fact through dealing with um, naturopath and a few other sources that them heavy metals my body still eliminate into this day which creates free radicals. Now the experiment to do is, is this uh, natural supplement is called Protandin. Uh, I have no financial gain whatsoever from it. It's just pu purely out of curiosity. So what I've done is I've agreed with Daniel. Daniel is the actual uh, distributor of Protandin here in Australia. Um, is that I've gone and had blood tests to look at where my oxidative stress levels are at along with a few other tests which are in the blog and then I'm going to take one protandum a day for three months and just carry on like I am. I eat uh, pretty cleanly, I train um, pretty hard four to five times a week you know and I'm not going to change my lifestyle at all but then after the three months I'm going to retest uh, the situation and see if this actually works or not. Um, so what Protandum is claiming is that it speeds up the process of eliminating the free radicals. Uh, a really good analogy is just like a car with the, the exhaust pipe. So you've got a set uh, circumference and it's eliminating the fumes. So what Protandum is saying is that it widens that exhaust pipe allowing for greater volume to come out. What does that mean to you watching this? You don't have to be exercising. Um, it, it, oxidative stress can is actually related to a lot more serious diseases, diabetes, uh, cardiovascular health, mm, Parkinson's, so the, heavy, the heavier things as well. So obviously, you know, health is a holistic thing. The food we eat, the lifestyles we do, uh, have all great influences on it. And um, so you can look at it from many angles. I'm looking at it from an exercise perspective. So I just wanted to put that, this video out there and um, say, yeah, I'm going to check it out. And I'm very interested to see what happens because I think um, if it works, it, it could be a really cool thing. And uh, it's something that I would want to look at more in the long term. If it doesn't, no harm lost. But um, I wanted to put that out there and share that with you. And uh, if you've got any feedback or any thoughts as well, um, please let us know. Cheers. can see that the cells are these cells that have a bright center are called uh, annulocytes these ones yeah so they are the ones that are look that look like a target yeah so they're annulocytes and they that means the uh, hemoglobin is oxidized inside so this is oxidative stress that you can see so these clear. are oxidative yeah. stress yeah. and the, the, the yeah. non ones are healthy that's right and that's the white blood cell what about the teardrop one. ones uh, those probably that's attached to the uh, glass all oh, right. So that means that has a positive charge. So the cell membrane can have uh, 
negative charge replaced by some positive charges. That's oxidation as well. Especially heavy. And now that's let's see. The majority of the cells are annulocytes, so it's a lot of oxidative stress on the uh, hemoglobin. So, uh, the oxidative stress, what could that have come from? That's coming from the heavy metals, I'm sure. The from the heavy metals we picked up the chemicals that are coming yeah. into the blood. And the liver is working very hard to detoxify, but maybe not enough nutrients that chelate the heavy metals. So, you need something that binds to the heavy metals, like chlorella or lipoic acid, to help with that. Hey, this is Guy of 180 Nutrition, and today I'm back for my results of the Protandin. And I'm here with uh, Dr. Ranga. Now, apparently, Dr. Ranga just told me as well that just because I've just come straight from a CrossFit session, uh, it'll be a true test to see what's uh, going to happen. Now, he's just going to put me through this machine first. So, what exactly is this? This is called, um, I call it bioenergetic. Uh, response and resonance testing device. It basically tests, sends a small signal through the acupuncture point to the organ and it challenges the uh, electrical potential of the cells, so the group potential of the cells. And we challenge that and if it comes back as a regular 50, we know the organ is healthy or cells are healthy. And if it is for, if it falls below 45 or over 55, we know there's an imbalance, so yeah, you can so get a good idea. So it's a, it's a good way of, of, like a precursor of actually tracking if there's something wrong with any That's right, yeah. things like that. Yeah. Alright, so okay. we'll give it a test. So, so you're holding this one, hold that. So you can hear a sound. So we're testing the normal skin. And you, that's the dull tone that goes up to about 25. So when you hit an acupuncture point, you can hear the sharper tone goes up to 50, so that's perfectly healthy, the small intestine. So small intestine. Heart. Heart's excellent. good. Adrenals, excellent. Hormones in general, good. Degenerative conditions. Toxicity or toxic burden. Food related chemicals. Good. Chemical sensitivity. Oh, it's all going to 50. Heavy metals, which was a problem last time. It's balanced. Wow. Excellent. Circulatory system. Nervous system, large intestine, lung, lymphatic system. So, but, uh, how accurate is this machine for somebody that's never used it before? Accuracy uh, meaning basically there's more and more information that the cell membrane is a real representative of what's happening inside the cell and outside, like uh, Dr. Bruce said. Uh, yeah, Bruce Lipton. Lipton's work. Yeah. So, we are basically getting a response from the cell membrane. So, it is, to me, I've seen. 20 years getting very good results. Yeah, yeah fantastic. So, so far, so good. Excellent. So, now we check your food points. All oh, right. See now if you can. We are checking the pancreas and the liver and all. The foot's stuff. probably not the best thing to have on camera, but you might as well. <laughs> That's the pancreas. Excellent. Liver. Liver good? Excellent. Joints. Stomach. All going to 50. Connective tissue, which is the storage point for toxins. That's also 50-55. Skin, fatty tissue, another storage for chemicals. That's also good. Gallbladder, kidney, bladder, oh. prostate. All good. All good. Yeah. Let's see if we can hold it a bit lighter. Yeah. I check the other food for the All next right. point. Spleen. This is different from spleen. Wow. That's the immune system indicator, so that's also perfect. So, all points are 50 compared to last time, we had quite a few things that were out. Fascinating. All right.
Play with the blood, nice little pinprick. The first droplet is damaged from the puncture, so we cannot use that. Ah. Take that off. Let the second droplet come up. Okay, excellent. That's it? That's it. So that's important. Yeah, it should spread nicely like that. So this. Because you could damage the blood yeah. otherwise. Yeah. yeah, right. Okay, so. Alright, so that goes under the microscope. Ah, uh, that's the stuff we want. Yeah, there's still a few repairing cells. So, which of uh, if you could point out the repairing cells? Uh, this one, this is called an annulocyte. The yeah. hemoglobin is slightly oxidized. It's repairing, not so solid. Do you see a big difference? From Massive. It? I mean, this is after training, so you see some cells that maybe still. I mean, so just go back and find another area. It's a big difference. So does that mean that the metals have been removing from my body yeah, as well? Yeah, Because, you know, it's binding and clearing the heavy metals. That was the main issue. You can see still some cells are not quite circular. Yes. Yeah. a bit of eight cells, but that's to be expected. Uh, okay, uh, so all in all pretty good. I mean yeah. that was, so I've been taking protonin once a day along with the chlorophyll. Yeah. And I actually run out of lipic acid uh, halfway through. Yeah, chlorella. Oh, chlorella, yes, sorry. And then, um, yeah, so it's definitely... Um, so you took, you ran out of uh, chlorella? No, the lipic acid. Lipoic acid, yeah. yeah. Halfway through. I did come here, but you sold out. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Right, there you go. Okay, damaged. Two types of cells, yeah? yeah? And uh, normally the cell should be really perfectly circular and the membrane is solid, nice and bright. Yeah. You saw some cells like that and some cells having this ring inside. It's uh, oxidized hemoglobin. When hemoglobin is oxidized, it cannot bind to oxygen or iron. So you, your energy level can drop. But you have, you don't have a lot of those, very few, but compared to the previous time, it's, it's a huge improvement. So the and yeah, and some cells we, we see on the video will have kind of like a fluid brightness, not completely circular. That means they are repairing. Right. So quite a few cells are repairing, and uh, especially after a workout, you know, you'd see a lot more damage. Yeah, and uh, the, you'd see 120 days from 120 start, days so. uh, for a red cell to completely turn over. And I've been doing it cells. for 90 days so yeah, far. Yeah, so still. To the day almost. Yeah. Yeah. So and in another month, you will see uh, much better. One well, last question I got mm. while we're, um, yeah. we're on the topic. Would, um, what happens if I took protandum twice a day instead of the one? Twice a day should be fine too. Like morning and evening. Yeah. Would that speed up the process more? Or? I think for, for your level of activity, I would take two. But yeah. beyond the two, because there's a certain number of receptors that the uh, active ingredients can bind. So the research shows that it will go through a increase and then the effect will not be there right. after two. And, and for anyone that's watching this mm. out there, that not necessarily training hard, but yeah. um, just day-to-day -day life and wanted to increase yeah. their energy levels, yeah. and this is something they should be looking Definitely, at, right? just one a day would be perfect. And, yeah. uh, and then give it sort of three, four, five, six months. Yeah. Yeah. And that will help. Yeah. For me, I'm taking it every day because every day we produce a lot of free radicals from our own metabolic processes. Like whenever you break down glucose for energy, you're producing huge amount of free radicals. Yeah, right. And the enzymes that protect those uh, our cells and can decline over with age yeah. and also with the toxic burden. Okay. So that's the, um, yeah, definitely. Fantastic. Yeah. Really appreciate it. Thanks very much. All right. Thanks, guys. <laughs>